All right, yes, welcome back again. We get another Kajat guest um, inside the house. Trust me, most of those queens, they make us feel say we are not fine. I don't really understand what they happen. We get the photo first, uh, Miss Nigeria inside the house. Join me, welcome, me, Dred Aigwese inside the Good Morning Nigeria studio. Good to have you, beauty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, welcome to the Good show. Good morning. So, Mildred, when you be joined the competition, waiting the day, what would be the reason why you decided to come out for this particular competition? Okay, the reason why I joined the Miss Nigeria competition was because I wanted to leverage on the platform they would give me to achieve the dreams I already had pinned down. All right. Okay. That was why I joined the Miss Nigeria competition. Tell us how life's been there for you before the Miss Nigeria competition. You're growing up, where you school. Let's just know <laughs> you. Let's know our queen, our photo first Miss Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Um, I grew up in Adamawa State, which is in the north of Nigeria, and I grew up with my mom and two brothers. Growing up was very interesting because in the north you get to explore a lot of things, and I enjoyed, I absolutely enjoyed it. It was adventurous for me. I schooled in Concordia College, Yola, and okay, so th those are basically the things that laid the foundation for who I am today because that's where the foundation of my life was. But you are not um, from the north. No, I'm not. My mom because is. Because you really resemble them. <laughs> yeah, she has a super face. She's not Thank end, though. you. I don't get the fine way way. I just have to say that. Oh, my. No, I just yes, have to yes, say yes. that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, but, but really, I mean, for someone who, who then born for the north, that means you could get some principles of some upbringing where, 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 where they don't imbibe inside you based on, if it be just the environment around you. Now, as with that upbringing where you get based on the child from the northern, born in the northern region, um, how you take manage gather the courage to come out for a, for a competition such as this, where we know say a lot of people from that, where they born for that region, they know that they try to avoid this kind of exposure. Yeah. So what did bring about the, your, the courage or how you take manage gather yourself to even tell Malay? <laughs> Male, say now waiting. I won't do this. As weird as that may sound, it's actually my mom that got me the forms. <laughs> yeah, she was she my. She's you. always been my support, my biggest fan. So um, I had always known that the Miss Nigeria pageant was a very credible one, and they didn't have the bikini um, pageant in it. So it wasn't hard for her to actually just flow with it because. She knew I wasn't going to wear things that were going to expose me or do things that were not going to be good for me. So she got me the uh, form after she, her cousin told her about it. And she's like, oh, yes, wow, my daughter is a beautiful daughter. And then she got me the <laughs> form. And I went for the cast. So when I went for the cast, I felt very out of place because as a girl from the North, I dressed very casually, subtle. And then I got there and everybody was on fleek, hair on fleek, makeup on fleek, everything. I didn't, even, I didn't have makeup on. And I'm like, wow, Mildred, why did you do this to yourself? And after the cast, I was just waiting for a call. I was praying for a callback, actually. And on the callback day, they said, uh, we are going to get called back by 12 noon. And I waited till like one. I didn't get my call back. My call back. I almost cried, Seth. And next thing, my call came through. <laughs> oh, very nice one, Mildred. Thank now, you. Now, I don't talk say any Miss Nigeria will get inside the house. I must ask um, this particular question. Now, because you don't experience the Miss Nigeria pageant, how relevant is this pageant to our society? Oh, the Miss Nigeria pageant is very relevant to the society. Of course, I would say that. But really, it is because um, you get to set examples for the upcoming youth, for women who really don't know what to do or the kind of decisions to make. Now, we have um, young girls looking up to you. So you can't just behave anyhow because you're a role model to the society. So girls who have dreams and think that, OK, if I'm going into pageantry, that means I'm going to have to compromise or do some things that are not very good. You come into the Miss Nigeria pageant and realize you're not compromised. Instead, you're even working so much and you have to live up to your expectation. You're a role model. So it helps to um, develop women, basically. Um, the motto for Miss Nigeria pageant is um, women beyond empowering, be women, empowering beyond beauty. women beyond beauty. Thank you very much. So if you're empowering women, Definitely, women would also be looking up to you to see what you do, to know what um, steps to take, the right steps to take and decisions to make. So it's very important, basically. 
uh, and you really get important. to also carry out projects exactly now that now the next question where they answer now so the question um, it, it leads to brings us to your project now um we know say every every beauty queen has a project during that time during that tenure now your project will you get um how effective or how relevant or how how well done has it been so far, especially to the women or the girls in the society where you do that particular project? Okay, I've worked on a couple of projects, about seven or eight. I, I can't place the exact number. But the um, projects are centered um, around women and children, basically. So all the projects I've carried out with other organizations are either to educate or empower or awareness, basically. For instance, I work with NAPTIP. Now, for NAPTIP, we are creating awareness on human trafficking. For Yedi Ninja, we are educating on malaria. For um, Walk Against Rape, educating on rape and stuff okay. like that. So basically, all the projects are centered uh, um, around women and children. Oh, I had one that wasn't just women and children. After the Otedola Bridge um, explosion, I had an outreach to all the uh, victims that we are at the Bagada General Hospital. So that's like the only project that isn't centered around women yeah, and children. children. So tell us about your Green Girl project. I want to oh, know yeah. more about that. <laughs> so the Green Girl project is basically about um, environmental sustainability. And okay, the project, the one project I've done that has to do with that is a coconut tree planting event I had with um, Jam the Coconut Food Company. So I got to actually plant a tree That's for good. the first time in my life. So you practice farming, right? That's really oh, good. Oh, yeah, well, you do not. You farm a lot. Uh -huh. oh. so yeah, but, I never, but I never planted an actual tree. I only used to plant seeds, seeds. and stuff. So um, it was fun for me. I enjoyed it. And then you get to plant trees. We all know the benefits of trees in the society and how it helps our environment. So that's basically um, what the Green Girl Project is about. How far did that project go? Sorry. Sustainability. How far did it go? Oh, well, I think we have planted about 300 trees. Oh, wow. Yeah. So tell so us, now, you've, been, you've done the tell us about, about some of the things yeah. you've been doing. Tell us about the challenges being in a position like this, being in Miss Nigeria. How, how has it been managing the pressure, managing the standard, managing how has it been the challenges we've done the face? Oh, okay. Um, I would, first of all, let me say my rock is God. At first, the first three months, I cried practically every Why? night. Because... I didn't know how to um, balance the... I got a lot of troll on social media at first. So I didn't know how to balance it. It got to me a lot. I was crying at some point. But with time, I discovered that it, was really, it really doesn't matter what people say about you, but what you're doing and what you think about yourself. So that's what really helped me to um, come up. And then God, God has just been... He's like the root of everything that is around me. So he's the one that helped me throughout. That's how I cope with the challenge, basically. Another challenge that kind of gets to me is the fact that there's a stereotype around pageantry. So before people get to know you, they've already said, she's going to be rude, she's fine, so she's a rude person, or she's just... And I'm like, calm down. I'm actually very friendly and playful. And then you get to some places, and they're like, she's too playful. Is she not a pageant queen? She should sit upright. <laughs> Now, wow, so there are a lot of things. What did we go do? You do this one, it's too much. You do that one, it's too much. Exactly. Wow. Tell us about your recent project. Is there any project you're working on now? Oh, yes. Um, I would like to talk about the one I just had previously. Okay. So it was a project with um, in Ajegunle. And it was the first time I actually went to Ajigunle, and it was fun. Wow, you don't oh, like, like your butter. Like, it's the first time I went to Ajigunle. Like, wow, <laughs> if it is Ajigunle, I went to Ajigunle. She like said that. it was fun. No, Tell no, us no. more. Okay. It's not like that. I grew up in the north, so I hadn't been to Ajigunle mm -hmm. before. Okay. And it was fun because the people were very receptive, and I was able to flow with them, and I was myself. I didn't have to pretend that I was not flowing with them. I, I just flowed. And what did you do born. there? What did you go do for there? We had an outreach to kids, okay. um, a school, a back to school outreach. So we gave oh, nice. out um, school bags, school sandals, notebooks, and pens. Awesome. And I think you're beautiful Whoa. and smart. Thank Whoa. you very Fantastic. much. So Thank that means you. that you're going to hand over to the next 
Miss Nigeria? Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll be looking forward to that date. And um, I know so before that time, you will come again. Because we need to ask you some more questions. Thank you so much. Thank you for very coming much. To Thank you very much for having good, me. Teach your good deed. Not let them end just after the pageant. Oh, so no. It is starting with the pageant. After, so it's not going to end, end with the pageant. pageant. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much well, for having then. me. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.